we go to pray, and then we're supposed to like, we're supposed to feel safe. Eight-year-old Noya Dahan wasn't safe. It turned out no one was. A gunman entered their California synagogue on the last day of Passover and opened fire. I don't even have any words for it. It was terrifying, scary. All over his body, he has a full magazine. So he's covered in bullets. He came to kill us, he came to grind us. The amount of, of bullets that he got on them, he came to destroy this place. Noya's father, Israel Dahan, was beyond worried. He was terrified for his children. He had no idea Noya had already been hit. My uncle, he was holding my hand and he was like grabbing me and stuff. And the person who was shooting, he was aiming at him. So he, it hit him and the like, where it's like, well like that, it hit me too. So you got hit with shrapnel? Yeah little pieces. No, like the new one is pretty big, but these ones are little pieces. So you look, so this was like a pretty big piece, and then it went back here. So the piece of shrapnel went in your leg and then came out the other side? Yeah. What were you thinking then? Did it hurt? Um, in the first place when there was like gushing blood, I didn't even feel it. And then after like they wiped it and then like the blood was off and it was like, it, it felt like I had the giantest bruise ever. It was just hurting bad. Her uncle had been shot too. He's looking me in the face and, the sh and he wants to shoot me in the gun. Yet Almog Paris managed to whisk more than a half dozen children to safety as the gunman blew off round after round. And then I saw him shooting in our lady that she passed away. Terrible feeling, what can I say? It's, uh, it's scary that we, we, we need to live like that. It's, it's just unbelievable. I, I, like, there is no one really to protect us. Dahan watched his friend, Lori Kay, slump. She died of her injuries. We have a big loss in the community. A big loss for the community in Poway. She was an amazing woman. The terror didn't end there. Their rabbi had also been hit. I saw the rabbi, he like jumping from pain. His fingers were cut off. His, he was like shot. Bullets had shredded the rabbi's hands. Noya's father tried to help him. He doesn't want to go to the hospital. He started praying and he started praying for everybody. And he wants to keep the, the community strong and tight. So the rabbi was refusing to leave the synagogue. Yeah, yeah, and he still praying. Been shot. Even that he's been shot, and even that he's been bleeding. And I told him, Rabbi, please, your life is trading right now. You're bleeding so much, you can die. No, I will stay here. I build it. I'm gonna die here. Rabbi Goldstein survived, but his index finger had to be amputated. The rabbi was one of the main reasons the Dahans had moved to Poway. The family left Shtarot, Israel, because a rocket hit their home. They wanted a safer place to raise their five children. They moved to Mira Mesa, California, but hate found them there too. Swastikas were painted on the family's garage and car. Did you leave there out of fear for your family? Yes, of course. We were sleeping inside the lock bedroom with knives and with <sighs> baseball pool because that's the only way I can protect my family. And then I met Rabbi Goldstein and he told me, come to our community. They loved it and moved to Poway. The synagogue's always a safe place to be. We're not supposed to be worried about anything. Three years later, terror would find them once again. I'm feeling scared, unsafe. I just feel like I want to be with my family and in a safe place where the whole family is there. And if someone gets hurt, there's like someone always behind us and like watching out for us. How do you make them feel safe? They don't, I cannot. You've basically had to run from one place to the next because of anti-Semitism. Yes. This is the right word to use, yes. And I might need to run again. It will ne I, I don't think it will stop soon. I, I might need to run again and I need to prepare myself for the next run.
horrible way to live. It is horrible, yeah, but that's where we live. And it's happened. Sarah Seidner, CNN, Poway, California. Joining us now is Noya's father, Israel Dahan. You heard him there in that piece. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. We're so sorry for what you and your family and your congregation have gone through. I have to say, we saw Noya, your daughter, in that piece so poised, so inspirational on camera. Is she doing okay when the cameras aren't on? How is she? Uh, I'll be honest with you, she's, uh, she was sitting with me almost the entire night uh, in the sofa, in the living room. She's still uh, full of pain. I believe we're gonna take her this morning to the hospital again. She started having a severe pain in, uh, in, uh, in her leg. Um, it's a terrible feeling, what can I say? It's, 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 just, uh, it's just unbelievable that it's, uh, it's happening in the United States of America in 2019. Every couple months is just terrible situation and terrible feeling. Your daughter said one of the things she said to Sarah Seidner was, we just finished praying, we're supposed to feel safe. We're supposed to feel safe. How do you explain to her why she's not safe or wasn't safe? It's, it's really hard to explain and uh, we're going to have to start thinking how can we really ex start explaining to almost nine years old and my other daughter 10 years old and my other daughter five years old how can we protect them better than what we are and how they can really feel safe i i hope that um all the the, the right uh psychologic and all the right uh um, people will help us to try to explain that because this is not something we've been trained for and we don't want to do mistakes by, the, by explaining that that is going to create them uh, future damages. You said you might have to move again. You're not convinced you won't face yet another act of anti-Semitism. Why? It's, it's, it's hard to say today. Um, and you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a feeling like, um, it's a feeling like a movie. Uh, if someone wasn't there, it's hard to explain what's the feeling and what's the situation look like. When you're getting into a closed room, which in this, at this uh, incident, it was a synagogue, and someone getting in with the rifle and start shooting all over the place, and you see in your family and friend member surviving on their life, it's. It is not, is not the feeling that you want to feel on a daily basis. It's, no. uh, it's a feeling like, it, it's hard to explain why we need to do it again. I hope we will not do it again. We really love this community. We really love the people. We really love the rabbi. We're, we're feeling like a family. We don't have a family in the United States. And he become as part of our family, right. really. He's, he's, I believe he will be able to pick up all the pieces and put them up together. And let's see, let's see what, what will be tomorrow. And he has been inspiring when we've heard from him. Uh, the friends of Lori Kay have been inspiring when we've heard from them. And I know you lost your friend Lori Kay, and for that I'm, I'm deeply, deeply sorry. Um, I, again, I'm struck though by what you told Sarah. I, I'm just concerned that as you look out and you move from Israel to be safer to the United States, you had to move from one house after swastikas were painted on your house. You were attacked at your synagogue this weekend, so you have every right to feel this way. You think anti-Semitism in the United States as you look around now is getting worse? I hope not, but unfortunately this is what's happened and it started to be on a daily basis and a weekly basis. And I hope that I will not make the move because we really love uh, the United States and we really love this community and we really love Poway. Just by seeing all the people that came yesterday, last night, to support us, from Christian to Muslim to Jewish to non-religious people, it's, it's really, it's really make me feel a little bit more comfortable when you see all the hugs yeah. coming from everywhere in Poway. It's, it's hard to say, it's really hard to say that if I'll make any, any other movement soon, but, you know, it's, it's an internal feeling that you don't feel safe. No matter what, you don't feel really safe and really in a place that you can say, okay, 
here I'm 100% safe. I won't say that I will not make the move, and I don't think there is any other place that is going to be safer. You I mean it's right. happened everywhere? Uh, Israel, thank you very much for being with us. No that the love isn't just coming from Poway and California. It's coming from the entire nation. We're so sorry for what you've been through, and we're sending you our best. And your strength and the strength of your daughter inspires all of us. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Have a good morning.